Now it's often that we want to design things, objects, or even animals have evolved designs that enable them to keep be kept cool. So for example, electrical components or animals in hot climates. So to do this, what we've got to do, the rate of energy transfer, that's heat loss, if you like, or via conduction. And what are the other two ways of, of, uh, of heat transfer? Well, we've got convection, convection, and radiation. So conduction is for solids, how heat moves through a solid. Convection is how we have gas or fluid rising, and that transfers heat energy away. And radiation is infrared waves that are given off by all objects. So the rate of energy transfer via these three methods of energy transfer from the object, from the object to the surroundings to the surroundings oops, must be maximized. We've got to get rid of that heat energy in order for the object to stay cool. So what design features should the object have? Now this could be for example an elephant that needs to stay cool in the hot African sunshine or even an electrical heat sink heat sink which is designed to take heat away from an electrical circuit board which might be underneath the heat sink. And let's talk about the material. Well the material must be a good conductor so that good conductor so that heat will travel quickly through it and maybe in an elephant we need to get the heat from the center of the elephant uh, to the surface of the elephant to, to its skin so that the it can then lose its heat via radiation and convection and that's done via the elephant's blood supply but for objects we need them to be a good conductor such as this heat sink which is made of metal very good conductor the shape must have a large surface area surface area and look at this heat sink it's got a huge surface area because of all of these fins and the, the surfaces of the fins. We've, we've kind of quadrupled or maybe even more the surface area of this which would otherwise be just a cuboid. In an elephant they have very large ears again increasing the surface area. Color and surface. Now we've learnt that radiation can be, uh, objects can emit radiation um, much better. They are good emitters if they are dark and matte textured. So dark color, like black or near to black, and matte textured, not shiny, matte. And so this would increase heat transfer by radiation. So that's good news. Hence why an elephant has matte and a dark colored ears. And this heat sink is a dark color and it's not shiny. And lastly, the surroundings, an airflow, an airflow in contact with the surface means that we can lose energy via convection much more easily. We don't want to trap air because that would be like wearing a, 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 a woolen jumper um, and air is a bad conductor. So having moving air in contact with the, the object is going to maximize the heat transfer and keep the object cool.